So, you created your first app in Android, but it looks a bit boring. We are going to update the style of the app, so it looks professional and modern. Hello, I'm Bart Lindsfeld, trainee software developer at GDK Software, and I'm going to explain how I did styling in Delphi for Android. Before you start your styling, you should pick three colors. It's standard in Android to pick a primary color, a primary dark color, and an accent color. So let's start our styling. Here I have a colors text file with my primary color, primary dark color, and accent color. I keep this with me so I can pick the colors easily when I need them. Uh, here's our Red Studios project. So this is the boring app. Uh, it's a standard colors that Red Studios provide. So let's style this to a mo more modern and professional look. Um, so let's start with the toolbar. What I do for the toolbar is I pick a T rectangle object, put it in the toolbar, uh, and I put a label in the T rectangle object. So you can name this rectangle background because it is the background. What I do is I pick the stroke, make it zero. I align, first of all, I align the object client so it fills. And then I pick the fill color and I pick the primary color and put it in. Because the hex color I got from the internet is shorter, I put FF before it. So that's not a. Uh, then it picks the right color. So as you can see, it's now a primary color. Uh, the, the label, the title is not visible, so I want to change that to white to make it more visible. So now the title is white. So now we styled our toolbar. So now let's start our styling on the background of the app. So for this I also use a T-rectangle object, but this time in the form. You put everything that is in, in the form in the rectangle. You can call this rectangle background form if you want. Then I align this client as well. And I do the stroke to zero. Same as in the toolbar. I go to fill, pick the color, and pick my primary dark color. So now the background is primary dark. As you can see, the text in the edit text wouldn't be visible anymore, so I have to change this to white as well as this label to white. Now we styled our background. So now let's do the styling of the button. For the button you can do two things. You can go to tint color, double click and fill in the primary color. Oh. Fill in the primary color. And now it's tiled. But it isn't the same color as the rectangle background in the toolbar. So that's where the second part comes in. So for our second styling of the button, we go to Tools, Bitmap Style Designer, and here we're going to, we're going to design our own style. So we click on New, Android L Light Style. This is going to load some images, so wait a second. Just loaded the images and now we get this style sheet for one time, two times, one half time and three times. So what we want to do is change these two. This is the button. This is the button when not pressed and this is the button when pressed. So we want to change that for our color button. 
So, what you do, if you click on images, uh, you click on style, or and click on export, pick your destination folder, you go on the, on the desktop, and export it. So now it's done. When we go to our desktop, you can see it created all these files. What we want to change is style, style 15, style 20, and style 30. So we're going to open this in paint.net. Go to desktop, pick all these styles, open it. Oh, my PC. <laughs> so now it's loaded and we need to change uh, this one. So what you do is pick that and pick. For the non-pressed, I pick the primary color. So I get to more primary color, that and fill it in. It's not selected well. And fill it in. So now our button would be purple. For the press stage, what I'm going to do is pick it the same way as the non press stage. Pick the primary, the primary dark color, and fill it in. So now we got ourselves the button styling. So we've done this for one time, and now we want to do it for all. So I'm going to do that quickly and come back to you when I'm done. So now I've done it for all the cell uh, formats. Uh, so when you've done that, uh, just the same way as the first one, just select it and uh, fill it in. Uh, make sure to save all four of them. Then we go back to the bitmap style designer from Red Studios. And uh, you're going to the first style and press this button update. It will open an explorer. I'm gonna click on the first style, open it, and click OK. This will update this style. It will take some time. Now it's updated. You do the same for 20 times, 15 times, and for 30 times. Press OK. Go to 15. 15. Open. OK, and the same from for 30, and press OK. Don't delete the style PNG just yet. We're going to use it later on. So now that we've done that, we want to save this style. First, let's save a template. I'm going to just call it style, save it. Then you want to save as again and make a fire monkey style. Click save. Then we close the bitmap style designer and we're gonna add a style book to our form. Uh, you can name it what you want. I'm just gonna name it style book and I'm gonna use the style manager. Uh, this will allow uh, other forms to use the style as well. So if we make a next form uh, in this application, it will use the same style as the style in this main form. So we go to double click the style book. You go to this open, go to the desktop and there's our fire monkey style. You will click on open. This will load. If you hit the X, it's going to ask if you want to save the changes. You will going to Yes. Then we go to the form. In the form, 
you can give your style book. You go style book. So now this form has our style. If you go to the button and remove the tint color, it will be the button we've created. It will be in our style. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is make the text white so it's more readable. So, and that's our updated button. So now we want to implement our accent color. For this, we go to the bitmap style designer again. This time we open our style that we created. As you can see, this is our style sheet. To change the accent color, we go back to the uh, paint.net and we want to change these colors. So just select that. And you may have noticed that in accent color I just said lime. This is because we cannot um, specifically get the right color. You can, but you just have to align everything just carefully. So what I like to do is get a color that matches lime as well as possible. You go to uh, Ctrl Shift U. I don't know what it's called in uh, uh, in the English app. Go to this. I think it's called U. And you're gonna pick just the right combination. So it's just looking for the right combination for lime color. I think this matches it perfectly. So you're going to press OK. And it's going to change that. Going to pick it for this as well. If you start it, it will be the same. So that's easy for this as well. And for these as well. Okay, I'm gonna save this again. So I'm just pressing Ctrl S. Now that it's saved, we go back to the bitmap style designer, update these once again. Style, okay, did not change. That's because I didn't save the first style properly. No, we did. Yes. That's okay. To load. So now we can shut down paint on that. We're not going to use it anymore. Style 20 for this. And again, you could do this tint for, uh, for a, an indicator as well, but we are not using an indicator in an Android app because it's bugging out. Uh, so I don't have to style it as well, uh, but you could do it in the same way we did the accent color. Uh, just use the UE option. So we're going to save this. So our style is saved and we can use it in our app. And we're going to save as FireMonkey as well, because that's what the app use. Uh, we're going to close this. Go to style book double click open our style gonna close the style book hit yes and the form will use the style book yes it did um, so in the app if i start it up on my android i will let you see that the accent color works. So now we've made a modern looking app for Android. As you can see, the accent color is working and our app looks a bit modern and 
better than just the standard colors in Red Studio. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give a like, subscribe to this channel. Uh, there's an iOS video coming as well, so stay tuned for that if you want to see that. Thank you for watching, and I'm going to say bye.